Oh, what's such bad timing? Gaz just went AFK. Shit. They're going right into TC. But you don't have anything to defend with. Oh. I'm just gonna grab what I can, see what I can save. There's really not much I can do here. I told Kaz killing that bomb was a bad idea. I've got a bunch of airlocks I can run into, so they're gonna have to use so many rockets to get everything, but I think they've got them. Yep, that's me, absolutely crapping myself in a freshly built hemp base. Now, we had big goals to monopolize the tea business on this server, and well, they were bloody short-lived. But what if I told you this was all a consequence of killing a single farmer a few hours after wipe? Already? He walled? Can't see shit. The, the wood wall to the left, the one. You keep him pressured? Why three times? Yeah. He had Jackie. Anything, so. This is uh, one of our neighbors. I know the name. Chinese name Bandit Can't. Alright, let's quickly raid this. So, this one little rat spelt the end of our humble home. But although we are actually starting at what would normally be the end of a story, you best bet we're only getting started here. Gaz and I are two bloody stubborn Aussie blokes, and well, we were in for a penny, in for a pound, and we were about to go on a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah, they're breaking the ladder hatch, the last door into me. I'm just gonna make a run for it. Okay, they're gonna get me now, but I made have used so many rockets. <laughs> no, never mind, they do. Oh, uh, well, I made them waste like so many rockets to get me there. Alright, so we did actually lose a crap load of loot in this raid, as you can see from my inventory. But Gaz and I luckily had a starter up on the hill called our Cook Shack, which had a few bits and bobs in it, allowing us to quickly get back up on our feet here. These guys sadly did TC grief our base well and truly, making this a little bit personal to us, with several TCs outside as well as one taking over our main base. However, they did make one pretty substantial mistake in this. Oh, I see. But, hold up. Oh, we can soft side into TC really easily. What we're gonna do is soft side one wall and we have this base back completely. I think, yeah, should do. I think. Okay, we got TC back. I think we leave the TC here for now, to be honest. Not a bad spot. Oh, this is a wall frame. No. Okay, well, we break that and then we make that a wall. All right, that works. Um, I think we just move everything down here now. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah. That can just be a base for cooking shit again, again. Yeah. Again, I guess. Now we more or less have our base back here, let's dive a little bit deeper into what we're actually up against here. This group is called ST. They live just across the mountain to us and they controlled military tunnels. Undoubtedly one of the best monuments in the game. These boys were not screwing around at all. This was their base just a few hours into wipe. So Gaz and I were really a David against Goliath story here. <laughs> but we weren't going to let that phase us one bit. While I was AFK, Gaz heard ST doing a pretty bloody big raid just across the road from us once again, and I decided to go see what was up, when one killed me on his way back to base. Now, I assume this guy was transferring loot after the raid, so I figured it was well and truly over and I could sneak my way in for any scraps. Their trash could be my gold. The thing is, like, us just being raided by them in this base, there's no fucking way they think we're living out of this again. Yeah, Surely Arctic, not. two Arctics on me, go. Two Arctics pushing for, um, thingy right now. I'm gonna insta one. Oh, dude, I'm dead. I insta-killed one, and I'm dead. You should push that. He's so... 
they're trying to go to Ar they were trying to go to Arctic. I'm gonna uh, run back naked. I'm gonna scout him. Try and distract him here in a sec. I see him. I'm gonna he's going for his friend's body. Out of it. Yeah, he's yeah. going up the hill toward his friend's body. Nice, he's dead. Holy Good job. God, I see him. Oh my god! Oh my god! They had like a line of guns on them, dude. Hold up. Oh my god! I need you to loot a chainsaw. Yeah. St. What's the loot from? They just do rigs some shit? No, I think they're running back from the raid with leftover loot. I'll just try and door the base and metal it as much as I can and just see what I can do. Yeah, I mean, if they come with the same numbers, there isn't really much you can do. Yeah, no. Nah. That is such a good get, but like, so annoying it's from them, those guys. We had managed to slip back into our base here with all the good loot. Now, the blue cards were beyond valuable to us, seeing as now we could run an arctic base for all the red cards we could ever need. However, one little hiccup was the fact that they knew we were now rebuilding in the exact same base and we had ungriefed it, and we had just stole loot from them once again. And so as soon as we headed back out, they were on us like a fly on shit. Well, I'll run back, see what I can do. Ooh. Oh, right here. Oh my Is that god! You? Yeah, they were on the coast looking for us. We can probably kill them here. Do you want to peek to the right? Yep. He's Sitting jumping up. up. He's up. He's up the hill. I ward, I ward. Oh my god. Half HP. Killed him. Full dead. Big, 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 big. I'm checking coast. One more, one more. Above. Healing. Popping one bed, then I'll peek. No, I'm dead. Too late, too late. Now, our only really silver lining here is the fact that they used a crap load of rockets on this base just before we stole loot from them once again. Gaz said they used about two lines, but he isn't really too sure, and I really needed that information. So I waited a few minutes for outside of our base to cool down a fair bit, and I finally managed to make my way over to check out this base and get a rough estimate on how much they actually used raiding it. I'm pretty sure this is the base they were raiding. Unless... Yeah, no, this is it. Looks like they left some stuff, but it honestly... Probably just scraps. Those other two guys had, like, a lot of junk on them, so I think they took pretty much everything. Yeah, this place looks pretty well picked dry, but... I do think they used a crap load of rockets on this, like... They went all the way around that ring, so pretty expensive. Okay, it honestly looked like these guys used a crap load of rockets on this base. They at least went through an armoured floor. That's what I assume. And they would need a lot of time to farm, craft, and smelt all these resources down again to even have enough to raid us. So we had time to build up and make our base more expensive to raid and more defendable most importantly. But what we really needed here was resources. We didn't have the resources to build up our base just yet. So we needed to get to work quick smart. Oh, on me, on me. Oh my god, I've hit this guy five times, it's sad. Oh my god, I killed him, finally. Oh my god, full inventory of sulfur and metal. Yep, maybe try and get to me, I'm running hard though. Mons was farming. Now, this was not the only farmer we had actually run into here. I actually managed to find ST farming close by our base. We needed to make sure these guys couldn't get enough sulfur to raid us, so killing them was honestly essential here. Oh, I see one. I see someone Jackie farming on me. Has he? It'll be one of them. Holy shit, I almost died to him because of the sun, man. Oh, it's full inventory again. Oh, no! No, oh, I'm alive. 
it's one up the hill somewhere I'm healing. Good AK. He's fucking he's loaded as well, dude. Um. Okay, do you see me right now? Uh, yeah. Do you just want to mark me? There's a body right here on me, on the side of the cliff. Yeah, I marked it. Stores more. I'm just gonna run. That stores more sulfur on him, but can't get it. That that AK kit is up the hill, and then there's another guy there as well, dead that has like another 2k sulfur on him. I've got like 54 high qual on me. Killed him. Thankfully, Gaz managed to get back with the rest of the loot here fairly easily. Notice how these guys were farming zero stone and only cherry picking metal and sulfur. This really didn't bode well for us here. It was essentially do or die for us at this point. We had to get work on our base before they could come over and raid us. And well, killing them here actually bought us a fair bit of time. So Gaz went around setting up electric furnaces for all the metal ore we just got off them, and I got to work building the actual base itself. We used their sulfur to raid the TCs they had placed around our base so we could make some externals, so they had no chance to grief us this time. Alright, this is about all we can build with the metal we have now, but we do have a little room here for a battery, so we can get up some auto turrets. How much power is that giving into there? 101. Yep, okay, that's right, yeah. Okay, then all you do is now you take that and put it into the battery. I'm gonna get crafting on the other bit. Should have enough in a second after I just craft this last bit up. Oh, right on the border of the prayer like this other one. Wanna come grab this? Yep. Yeah. Come, come grab this. We actually managed to get our base fairly built up here. Nowhere near where it needed to be, but a fair amount. With a windmill, a couple of auto turrets, and a bedroom with, most importantly, some re-kits. I was honestly fairly confident about a raid coming at this point, so I decided to head over to their base and see what they were doing. I was very surprised they hadn't shown up yet. I knew a raid was coming if we liked it or not, I just really wanted to know when. Oh, not chopping trees on me. He's, he was stacking so much. It is, it is. Oh god. I've got it all. There's more on the body if you want to try and get it. I'm running hard. I don't know. I feel like if I go for it now, I'm going to like face check one of them as they're getting there. Yeah, just going to make sure they don't kill me. Grid Maybe hide, hide at this base. Hide at this base and they'll probably chase me. I'll shoot Tommy. Just hide, it, hide at the base and I'll shoot Tommy. And I'll bait them down toward here. One dead. Was he full kit or just has he? Saw so has he. He just came over with all his farm. He freaked out and didn't even depot. Oh my god. What, like sulfur and metal? Yeah, yeah, sulfur and metal. Like full invent, but almost. Oh my god, we're getting from Like he, right he didn't even. He didn't even get. Like he was like. His mate definitely made the call. Like just run over and try to get him or some shit. Yep, we are getting pummeled. Okay, awesome. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna have to send everything they have at us. Oh my god. Okay, we got like rush a compound or something. Yeah. Actually, no. Okay, you should BP panels. the full kit and make repair the AK. Make another AK full kit. I'm gonna make us a little bedroom upstairs with a kit room. Yeah. I might make it up here. So as long as it's metal. Man, I'm, like, I'm thinking more, like, right what about like here? So we could have all that as cooking. Yeah, yeah, come up here. All right, now onto the actual crux of this story. What was our actual goal for this wipe before ST came over and ruined our day? Well, hemp and teas were the name of the game. We wanted to make a monopoly on these products and sell them to anyone on the server with the materials that we wanted. Basically meaning we could get unlimited whatever we wanted as long as we had teas and hemp to sell the server. 
But before we could get our operation up and running, what we needed was clones. Now, we could do a bunch of punnet squaring and figure out the best way to clone whatever we wanted, but let's be honest, Gaz and I are pretty smooth brain when it comes to that stuff, so we decided to adopt our own little strategy and just steal it from someone else. And well, ST were the perfect target here. Not only did we have a vendetta against them, but they also had a hemp base up and running already. And I knew for a fact they had teas from a farmer I killed while scouting them earlier. Did you find that guy? Was he not yeah, I see him chopping wood right now. I'm about to run up and kill him. He's on the other side though this time, so there's a good chance I'd die on my way home. But there seems, there seems to be not many of them on. Seems to be kind of like skeleton crew at the moment. Dude, their hemp base is such an easy raid as well. We could... It right next yeah, to deep water. Right. Imagine they just already have gold clones for us. God, that would save us some time. Oh yeah. Go have a quick look for this guy. If I can't find him soon, I'm coming back. He is mad. I killed him. Oh, pull him and throw his stone. And just what we needed. And an MP5. Yeah, 900 metal ore from it. Yeah, so they're fucking OTing it. I just killed him with the pure OT. Just turned on. Okay, we need to raid their thing then. Because that would be like, that would fast track our T's. Yeah. Now, just before I get into this any further, I actually need to introduce a new character into our story. Our neighbors. They were Russians and they would play a very large role in everything else which is about to happen. Sava MP5 right now. Killed him, and he killed MP5. I've got no room to loot. i got no room. Oh, dude, they're so loaded. Some guy named Scripter. He was in that group that got the AK off us and just insta ran yesterday. Yeah, dude, there's so much here. You gotta come loot. See another one. Two bodies right on the road here. I just killed Batman here. Oh god, I'm low. I'm medding, I'm just running. Okay. What you really need to know right now is they were a five man and they were starting a base on the opposite side of Arctic research to us. They are going to be very important. Oh, they they just pulled up on a ski. He's trying to get inside. He got in. Do you want to sit back and watch the roof for me? He's going roof. I see him. Headshot him. He's really low. Him, no. Could you hold that He's roof? Hold that door. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the other side of the door though. No, no. Come, come to my side so you can hold it for me. I headshot him twice. Someone's outside. Yeah, I see him. Got him. Roof. Holding, holding roof. I'm holding roof. Two okay, guys hit three. One's gonna push me here. I'm on watching me you. Now. I'm watching you. Watching you. Down him. I think I'm one. No one on me, no one. Oh my god, how deep these freaks. Um, I'm reloading. Where, where, where? On the roof again. One right oh, on me. Not dead, dude. Got another one behind. How? Fucking deep. Okay, well, maybe we don't even go anywhere near them. Over the next few hours, we basically just had a back and forth with our new neighbors over Arctic Research Base and spent a lot of time building up our own base, compounding it, and finishing the shooting floor. We should grind scrap until we can get like the C4 and shit so we can do that hemp base raid. Yeah. Because if they gave us a bunch of seeds of like good clones and shit, we could even oh, just yeah. start doing our own thing. I'm up to the, sh uh, the roof. Look at these peaks we have with these sanded roofs. So good. Yeah, if they raid in, yeah. Uh, this is a very good base, I think at least. Yeah, well, I, I don't think anyone, like, I think when people raid us, like, dude, it's gonna be so expensive to get to our loot. It's gonna be expensive, and if they make, like, an error and take a turn and raid down a hallway that's, that's wrong, it's just gonna cost them so much boom. <laughs> yeah, literally. At this point, we had our base set up with power and had space for our humping operation. Problem was here, clones. So it was time to initiate our little plan. Now, we had a decent idea on what to do here. We wanted one of us to take scuba gear so they could dive away as soon as we got the required loot from their hemp base. Everything would really rely on timing and execution. But timing here was the one thing we couldn't have got any better 
in this situation. Well, they've sheet metaled the first two floors now completely, but I'm pretty sure it's only two sheet doors and we're in. So we just got a raid from their base side, which is a little bit fishy, but should be right. Is it all metal now? Yeah, pretty much, besides the top. Mm. All right, got a wetsuit. Sure. Perfect. 3C4, 50 explode, two satchels. Bada bing, bada boom. So the doors are on their base side, but like you just go out to the right when you run out and you should be fine. And then you're behind the base and you just swim away. I'm literally just going to mm -hmm. sit at their gate, their closest gate with AK, and just not let them like push you. And I think the water's deep enough so the roof won't. Oh, they're leaving their scrap heli! Oh my god, that is so perfect. Perfect, perfect okay, timing. Yeah. They're leaving. This is from great. They're like going straight to our base. <laughs> Imagine. They just hook a right right now. <laughs> yeah, we're ready for him. I'm just going to sit over here, I guess. I'm scared. Just pull by here door. we go. Yeah, I hear one in there. Trying to watch the roof. Jump in, if you can. Good shit. I like hedge. I think I downed that guy on the roof, by the way. Bro, there's like nothing. Hold up. C4 no again. Clones. No, like really fuck. These guys haven't done anything. Unless it's in this door I'm blowing. Okay, no, no, I've got clones. You don't have space to hold them all? No, hold up. It's actually something. Headshot roof for you. You gotta run before it goes day, dude. I'm about to leave. Running! I shot one on the roof. Did you get away? Yeah, yeah. Bro, by the way, I blew- I satchel TC before I left. You could even Hail Mary jump in there. In grief. I blew up TC yeah. just before I left. Oh! Get that guy some help. He sucks. Making door, key lock. Yeah, like you can grief hard, I think. In there, dude. Got one door on. Nice. Oh my god, they're all outside. There's so much in here to grief with as well in the TC. Oh, dude. So you didn't. Did you get every type of coin? I got hemp? red, yellow, blue, and hemp. Okay, and they're all like god god clone. They didn't even push out to try and defend it. The weirdest part. So you're probably wondering what the hell happened here. Why didn't they just come over and kill us as soon as we started raiding? And where the hell were they flying back and forth with this scrap heli? Well, something we didn't know at the time was is they were actually raiding our neighbours, the Russians, the guys I just introduced, thinking it was a new base of ours getting built up above Arctic. The scrap heli was flying to and from the raid getting more rockets and everything else they needed. And us doing this, we actually found out later, made them fumble the raid with a bunch of them F1 killing to get back home to defend their hemp base just adding a bunch of confusion, which they were too late to even defend. I had already sealed it up and they didn't have the rockets to raid it back because they had just failed the raid. Timing was impeccable here. Well, I'm saying if yeah, I can somehow, if they don't raid in here and you can get back here, I've like Bro, up. next, next night, we could just run away with everything else. These yeah. guys are so shit. Next, like wait till next night time. And then we just push out with walls. Like we have TC. Dude, they're not even out. They're literally not even out there. Like, I feel like I could just walk out right now. Like, there's literally, like, they're not even Surely doing... one's on the roof. They're just landing here or what? It's really this box is the only box we need to take. Maybe you loot all the good shit so I can, like, kind of cover you. Um, do I just try run? I yeah, know. I think so. Here. Go. I see the heli. It's going. Nah, I don't really know what they're doing with that heli. I have. I don't know what this group is. Oh! I can't see him. Wait, that guy's cross-eyed. I'm gonna try to run. Come on, you're 
Oh my god, that guy has Alzheimer's. Bro, that guy actually has fucking Alzheimer's, dude. I'm running. <laughs> I didn't get hit once. <laughs> He's hit me a few times. No, no, you can't load up Rust, bro. I start like that. Oh shit. Oh no, I taste the karma. So, while they were busy doing all that, Gaz and I literally pillaged the place for every single component we would need for our own hemp base. From the lights to the bloody planter boxes, we would take it all, while they were away failing at their own raid. Oh my god, revenge was sweet. Dude, like, yeah, I don't know, like, dude, we know where you are, man. We just blew a hole in your base. Like, I'm pretty sure we know where you're shooting from. Oh. They could have to see me from... <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what we just experienced, but... Pretty. I think it was M2 as well at first, and then he gave up on the M2. <laughs> yeah, probably broke his little farms in half. He was like, I cannot do this! I cannot control it! Yeah, I don't really know how we got away with that. Uh, everything just went so perfectly. Like, exactly how we, I pictured it going in my head. Like, <laughs> But it never goes like that for us. <laughs> yeah, you? I know. She's <laughs> just like we insta died. Like, with our normal luck, like, you would have died from that first guy. I just would have like... died. I would, no, I would have failed to jump 17 times. Now, with everything we needed secured for our operation, we spent the next few hours setting it up, growing everything we needed, and making our first few teas before calling it and going to sleep for the night. Okay, where'd you put all those um, planner boxes? So on over here in the deployables kind of section from that. Since we got so many god coins, probably don't even need that much like planting space, to be honest. A bit, I'm dividing this up a little bit more. So we've got three floors. I'm not going to make them insanely big. I think this is big enough. Then we get more doors on this section. Oh, we're going to figure out where we're going to put this next battery. I think we put it on the shooting floor. They just check my name on like premium battle metrics. Oh my god. <laughs> I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Get to every person on right, right now. You have no idea. And we're cooking. Okay, our first plant. It's going to take a while to grow because they don't really have enough water yet, but should be good. Assume you're going to be up a little bit longer to pick these. Will you be up late enough to pick these? These ones are growing right now. Yeah. 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 Okay, Won't so. do another batch after that though. No, no, no. Just make sure when you log off, everything is closed. Now, the start of day two was a little bit interesting here. I'd woken up to both of our auto turrets on the roof being broken, and I had a feeling we might be about to get top down raided. Keep in mind, this was about 6 a.m. in the morning, and I was half awake, so I sat and waited. Dude, why is there a twig tower outside my base? Hmm, looks like Gaz actually made a bunch of teas last night. Nice. This mini's been circling me for a while now. Whoever's in this mini is probably the same people that destroyed my auto turrets on the roof. I wonder if they're actually going to do anything, though. Well, they're leaving. There was only one guy in it, but I don't think he saw me. Now, besides this mini flying around, nothing really came of it, until an hour or so later, when I was in Arctic Research doing a little bit of a morning farm. It wasn't us, but the Russians being raided at 7 in the morning by a whole damn raid base. Oh shit. The Russians getting raided again, not us. These guys are getting absolutely pummeled. So at least been like 40 rockets so far. Dude, they got a full raid base and everything up there. It's like 7.30 in the morning. This is insane. I actually can't believe they're full bob raiding them at this time. I wonder if any are on. 
Now, this is where it gets a little bit interesting for us. This message that I sent in global chat actually saved the Russians' base from ST. They were an outpost on the other side of the map and they didn't hear them getting so raided and my message got them to respawn back at base and somehow turn the raid around and win it. Now, ST used a crap load of rockets here on these guys and this was their second attempt. Remember, they tried to raid them when we were raiding their hemp base and failed. This time, it was clearly an offline attempt being straight after the daily server restart at 7am and the Russians were faking offline. So I decided here, the enemy of my enemy is my friend and I reached out an olive branch to trade teas for HQM with the Russians and see if we can't become friends with them. Having their help would completely change the power dynamic between our groups and the ST Zerg. We needed each other more than we needed to fight each other. Hmm, might be my first trade of the white. See if we can get some high qual out of them. Could you get on roof with AK kit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just quickly run up there just in case these guys. Hello? Hi, hello. Is this you guys? Which gate are you at? Oh, yeah, just give me one sec. I'm coming over. Oh, that's you, Tesla. What's yeah, up? hi. <laughs> hold up, hold up. How are you doing? Here you go. Have fun, boys. I'm Dubai's friend, maybe, you know. Oh, you're Dubai's friend? Yeah, okay. Thank you, thank you. Don't offline me. Yeah. Don't yeah. offline me. Please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I won't offline. Have fun, boys. Bye bye. Yeah, they gave us 200 HQ for that. I'm fine with that. Look, that trade wasn't for like any reason besides to like Not kinda that. get them off our backs like we don't need to worry about that's one group we don't need to worry about this was the start of a blossoming friendship between us and it was our first major trade for tees so a win-win really we have given them a pretty huge discount here since we became friends somewhat basically deciding we would watch each other's bases between offline hours and try and make sure ST couldn't get rid of either of us. We knew they wanted both of us gone for good and we needed to stop that. With this new pseudo security pact with the Russians as well, Gaz and I could concentrate more on selling teas to the masses instead of always playing so defensive. And that's just what we were able to do. Our first vending machine up and I need to do a little bit of advertising. Maybe rub some salt in ST's wounds as well while I'm at it. A little bit of bragging. We got a fridge full of teas now. Making a shitload of meds for our bedroom. People are buying from our shop. Things were going perfectly for us for a few days here and Gaz and I had not forgotten about what ST had done to us. We still wanted our revenge on them and we needed to take it more like a guerrilla warfare kind of stance, just picking at the edges of them until they got mad enough to send a raid on us. Gaz and I basically decided to give it a go raiding their tugboat. They had just pulled up after a massive run around the whole map and Gaz was stalking them in a rib. So we used the rib to try and do a quick smash and grab on their tugboat. I haven't seen these guys with a tug or white, but still. Oh yeah, right there. That's oh, it, right? What's the boys? What's the boys? Yeah. Surely we stop here and go for it. Um, yeah, we'll stop here. Gates open at the back. Oh, guys! Someone's on it. I'm swimming. I'm on. I'm on. Should I just do it? I got a hate cheese. I don't know where he was. Was he in there? Yeah, he's in. Yeah. Hit him once. He's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Killed one. They're all spawning in here. Back up. Killed back two. Up, There's up. one more. One, one, one more on the right. Reloading. He might be oh, dead. Shit. He's dead. Dead. Shit, dead. Go in. Dead in oh no. He's not dead. There's two more. Both dead. Just grab an you... invent and jump. I'm dead. I'm dead. Grab an invent. Look for something. Look for shit. Take your time. Let's come off the roof. No. They're alive. No! 
He's spawning naked and kills me. Dude, how many HEs do I need to put in there to kill them all? Okay, although this really didn't work out for us due to timing, we may have used up all our good luck with the hemp base raid. We didn't really let this stop us. Gaz went straight back with a sub and sinked their bloody tugboat. This would have them pretty infuriated, especially since they just defended it from us before. We were like a fly that just you could not kill. Just, uh, tell me when you do it, I'm gonna talk shit to them when you sink it. Did, did you get it? It's sunk. I just sunk it. It's underwater. I'm underwater now. Now, while we were doing all of this, the Russians were actually taking the fight to them a lot more than us, killing their farmers and whatnot. We both had put the pressure on ST big time here, and they had to do something to get their way out of their current situation. We were both killing them every chance we could. This is where things started to turn south for us a little bit. The Russians got offline to pay ST. We knew what we had going was way too good to be true, and they would eventually bite back at one of us, and they offlined them. But we weren't going to let that end our story here. The Russians might have been offline, but Gaz and I were a different breed when it comes to not sleeping on this game. We are freaks, you guys know that, and there was no chance we were going to let up the heat on this group. We went hunting for their farmers over and over again. It actually got so bad for them that they had to bring out two bodyguards to protect a single farmer. Have you seen me? Huh? They're just looking around a bunch, they're being hell weird. Okay, okay, they're right. They're going in the nodes now. How far away are you? I'm out of base. I'm them. But, okay. but I grew down. They're going like V20. Yeah, I'll just kind of like meet halfway. Oh no. Has he spotted me? Oh, I'm going to be dead here in a second. Um. I toss my AK in the water. They won't find my AK. I tossed it in the water. Hold up. And they, yeah, they're all going out to farm. I've got a spawn. I'll just go grab a kit. We'd been told their upkeep was 150k metal frags per day. And well, we were basically stopping them from farming anything, grubbing them consistently. And well, they were just hoping using this strategy they could get back unscathed. But Gaz and I were consistently hunting them, regardless of them running around in a three man with one person farming. Oh yeah, wood guy. I'm looking at him. Yeah, I'm gonna He's kill right him. In front of me. I'm gonna you kill go him. For him yeah. This guy's gun out. I think he might see you, dude. He's staring right at you or some shit. Someone's seen you. There, he was looking up at that hill toward you. Oh. I assume that it's from, from the roof. I assume it's from the roof. I'm about to run. He's got silencer. I'm looking at roof. I'm running. Seen it. Oh shit. One's coming out the gate, but I don't see roof shooting. Oh. This guy's this guy's still chasing me. We got a whole bill. Maybe a whole train yeah, station. We... I, I need some meds. Wait for you in train station. I think we just hide in here and then we pop up late. This was our first small victory over these guys, but we wanted to absolutely bully them into the ground and make it near impossible for them to farm anything. And that's just what we did. So we're we're standing check right again. next to each other. I'm staring at them. I'll uh, mark them pretty much exactly. That green marker is pretty much exactly them. You won't be able to see him from the top of the cliff, I don't think. Oh, you will now. You will now. They're pushing. They're kind of pushing up toward you now. Okay, two coming up. Three. I'm about to look all down, all coming up the hill. I hear him. Toward they're you. They're farming on me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hold W on them. I'm far. I gotta get across an open field. He went four times. Didn't kill him though. Somehow. One dead. Yeah. Yeah. I will. Another one dead. He's at the wall. Is there one? Headshot him? Yeah, wood wall. Last one's headshot. He's, he's okay, walled okay. himself in a circle. In a oh shit. Yeah, yeah I know. Just don't die. I hit him three, I'm dead. No, I hit him three. Mm. Under the ledge, naked. I, I don't know what he has. Might have grabbed a gun, I don't know. He's under the ledge that the wood walls are on. 
Yep. More towards me, or he could be anywhere really under this big ledge. Got him. Black naked? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy walled himself. I don't know, white kid's still on the rock. Reloading to aim this. You see how much I Oh. I wasn't ready for it. You'd open it. Ah. Uh, I was yeah. reloading my rocket. <laughs> thought... Oh, okay. I thought you were like aiming it up. I was confused. I thought we were blowing it up. Do you have oh, any space? Nice. Just run yeah, down there and loot the rest of that. Place. Just run, run Oh, down one's down. like they're aggressively pushing it up. One, one, one's about to shoot you, probably west, west, west. I got a med and peek him. We run. Okay, depot and come straight back out. <laughs> yeah. We just gotta, we gotta make sure we depot so that they're, they're actually losing shit. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so we just depot here. Yeah. This was our first of many successful gunfights with these guys. They wanted to get metal lore and we were stopping them. We would literally sit outside of their base, wait for them to farm and jump them with one of us calling them out and me flanking. It was pretty hard for them to do anything. We pretty much trapped them inside their base, making it impossible for them to do anything. Oh, is it you? No, I'm at a high wall. You can't see me. Okay, well, oh, he's on me, he's on me. Wall, like, right on you. Yeah, yeah, that's about to say. He's shooting at me now. I'm baiting him to keep shooting at me. There's two of them, I think. Oh, no, it's you. Yeah, two of them. Another one close. Going headshot. Oh, uh, yeah. I headshot the one close, made him wall up. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so, but he double, he double walled. Like, I can't really see what he's doing now. Got him. Nice. Another has he just further back from him? Hit the, I hit that twice and he freaked out. Hazzy's crouching up and spraying at the Hazzy. Dead. I'm gonna make it on me! Yeah, that's him. Once. He walled, he walled, he walled. I'm coming back to help you. Doubled him, doubled him dead. Nice, I'm running back. Good shit, good shit. Oh, whatever, I'll just take this little one for now. The amount of sulfur we've killed off these guys. Oh my god, just today? Probably at least, like... Probably at least, like, a box and a half today. Yeah, all up, all over today, yeah. I know you need wood, man. Come chop this forest down. Wait, is that you? No, there's one on me, one on me. He's one hitting... On yeah, on my left, on my left. Your side of the river. Okay. One He's, um... At me, I'll yeah. mark it, I'll mark it. So they've, they've called me out. I'm pushing the rock guy. Yeah, I see him. He's moving. Double run, killed one. One more on me. Final. Bolt guy's pushing in the open. Ball guys hit four. Get him. Nice. Uh, double body headshot, he just walled. Killed him, killed him, killed him. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Now it's just bolt, just bolt. Way down the coast. Double him, he's dead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> loot these and dead bail, dude. Uh, yeah, yeah, just loot all those bodies, all three of them. Where's this bolt here? So we had basically stole ST's lunch money over and over and over again and they just couldn't get the upkeep for their base. And we knew damn well a raid was coming our way. We had just stolen basically half a box of AKs from them and there was no chance they weren't going to take us out the very first opportunity they got. And we knew this. So we decided to do like a shift work per se. I decided to go to bed early and let Gaz take the night shift and I left my phone on so he could call me if anything went down. We also set up two cameras watching our base so we could see it in our beds. We were basically offline proof at this point. We weren't going to sleep. We knew it was coming. And the whole idea was I would wake up at 5am and watch the base as soon as Gaz went to bed. This was at least the plan. Until he called me at 2am telling me there was an empty raid base built directly outside our home. Yeah, so they started with that twig thing. And then I logged out and I watched a bit of my movie for about half an hour. Then I logged back in and that was there. Is that Sam site still on the top? Yeah, Sam site still there, up there. I don't think they've gotten rid of anything. Um, like unless they got rid of something while that for that brief time that I was off the server not listening. But I, but even when I was off the server not listening, I was still checking phone cams every now and then. Like I don't think they've gotten rid of anything. The strangest thing ever, they've just built this fob and just left. This huge ass fob. Yeah. 
It's definitely them, by the way, because um, this is the same fault hopper design they used to try and raid the Russians. Mm, yeah, like with the stone compound. Oh, yeah, they're here, they're here. Look at them all, look at them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with launchers. One, two, three, one, two, yeah, five launches. It's ST, it's definitely them. They've set up <laughs> for the offline. You know what I think we do, Gaz? It might seem super strange, but do we let them like fully like get into the base and then we turn on the Tesla coils and like... I want to do that, but at the same time, it's risky. Like we could just like throw our base away, but I'm down to do it. It depends where they raid from. I think we had a second cam in the base somewhere, but I'll have to open, I, I would have to open doors. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're like okay, smoking. smoking. Are they rocketing? Okay. okay. This is gonna be risky. Close in the doors and then kill. I'm going on pros. This is definitely a big risk what we're doing but like well, i think it's the only way we get their bodies i think fob is perfect level with us by the way like i'm pretty sure yeah could you make windows that. real quick make four windows with the frags i'm pretty sure he's like looking at us by the way so like, yeah the jeep might make... just be up anyway i'm making windows see i really think we should let him come in because oh yeah they're shooting at us yeah, I was pretty sure like I could see. I got window almost. I kept rocketing. Okay, I'm gonna focus Bob. Maybe, maybe I just let him kill me. Headshot maybe I just let him kill me. No, no, no. Oh, I'm shit. I headshot Bob. Nice. Good one. Good one three. Thank you. I've, I've got no suppressor, so I'm just gonna go lay out. And... Maybe you should jump down, guys, and try and seal. Yeah. I think I should. I think I will. Seriously, mess up here. Not really. Some of the rockets are hitting the armored in our bedroom area, but not fully. It's a bit worrying. It's done. They're breaking TC. Get rid of them. They're breaking our external TC. I, I, I honeycombed them though. Oh, they've like used a lot of rockets, so they're not gonna. I don't know what they're doing. Our TC. So remember, their external TC is gonna be gone on that side of the base. I stood up. I got smoked up here. Actually, Loki might be really good that I got smoked up here. I can't really get a good shot on them because of... Good one. Oh, I'm dead. I almost got that naked coming back in. Okay, well now care. That's a lot of rockets. I'm not really sure where the base they have. Holy shit. Okay, that guy sees me. Okay, I'm gonna use the shooting for then, guys. Yep. Might be one on the shooting for, I don't even know. Shit going on there? I got one wall off, so it's narrow. Yep. Good narrow right entrance. Good another. Nade in the breach. You might be able to get. They're, they're on the left side. Really. They're on the left side. Yep. No, you're left there. Yeah, no, it's good. Got a seal. Good seal. Including one. I'm, I'm one dead to that guy through the. He's peeking. Oh, I got a wall bat. Bad spot. He's peeking through our gate little spot thing. Um, I gotta try to get a wall on that. Hey, that's the literally only peek he's peeking right now. Almost got another one. 
They blew, they blew the ball. You need one more to get the seal. There. Put another one. Hit one twice, he's close to you. No, no, no. I got no gun. Him again. I can't. I just tried to seal that. I couldn't do it. It's he's like he's holding it. Just go go inside, maybe. Right, I shot in the back, probably. Oh, I, I hit I hit that one that was holding you. I need a gun. Could that rocket out? They just rocketed? Yeah, I gotta come in and get a gun real quick. It's all so dark out there. I can't see shit. I'm down, I'm down. I'm shooting. It's alright, it's alright. I've shot, shot. Down. Okay, they, they found me in compound. I think the seal is out of the question right now. Until we kill some, we're gonna have to like really kill yeah, some. Yeah, I see him in the compound. He's looting your body. Killed the one that killed you. Good shit. I can push out there, I just need to... Yeah, I killed him. No. Got another one. And the wall they One's blew close. Dead. I broke the ladder to get into our base. One dead. Shit, I'm loading HV. Is that one close to the gate? That's the real issue. Yeah, I know. I, I was about to wall that gate before it killed me. He's low in the gate. I jumped out. He I'm grabbing me. I got walls. He's close. Him three, he might be down. Try and get that wall off. Nice. Got it. I need to get a wall here. And when I was looting a body, I hit open gate. I closed it, but one ran in. So he's stuck in there now. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, he's laddering. He's alone. He's alone in our compound. T-Rex. He's, he's in the base, actually. I was, like, trying to loot my body with the small walls on it. Okay. Killed him. Okay, well, that's big. I need to just try and get walls in front of that little gap there. Because I can't place a... I could probably look for wood walls on their body, maybe. A wood wall might be able to go there. Hello. In the gap. I see... Guys, I sealed it the most scuffed way possible, but it's sealed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I just ran out there and... Dude, I just... <laughs> I just rocked one down. Okay, my timer should be about to be up. Yeah, it's up. Hold up. Oh, they rocketed crows at yep. some point. Crows is open. The rocket back in or something. Crows is kind of useless at the moment. Headshot the fob. Hit him. I'm Down too quick fob. for him. I'm too quick for him. I'm too quick for him. Yeah, he's up there. Let's see that. Yep, just keep stealing. I got. I'm gonna try to get fob unlock. He's not peeking, Bob. Dude, I think I might push out, try and like hold the bottom of that fob, and you come over with rockets and raid it. Yeah, dude, I'm going over to hold the fob. I'm gonna see if I can hold it. Give me a second. Oh, got your HVs. I'll go hold it with your HVs. They kind of grouped up a little bit more now. I think they might make a second wave push kind of thing here. Oh, this little freak with the insane shot killed him. Good. I think they might be about to run. It's either run or. I'm healing. Get out of here if you can. And one's running with rockets. Hit him once, twice, three times. Dead, dead. Okay. Rocket are running good. None in fob aiming me up. I got a good angle right here for them to not run. Killed one in compound. Killed another one. Hit another one. Snakeheads there. I need heal. I got rockets. I'm running oh, with hold up. some rockets. Yep. 
I'm trying I'm to I'm gonna put it on this naked body. I just put it on a naked I'm, body. I'm, I'm dead to insane. I'm dead to insane. Put another one. Good three. He's coming out. Any meds, dude? Good, another one. Coming out. I'm holding and waiting for you. Can they go up the other side? See if they can. Kill one trying to steal the corridor. One's aiming at me up. I'm reloading. Killed one. Break it. Yeah. I've got heaps of rockets, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, they'd be dumb of them, I think, to do that. They've got yeah, no I'm gonna, chance. Just I'm gonna run. run in there with HV and try and trip insta kill one. Is the turret on? I hear one above. Is that you? I'm going in, I'm going in. You should cover. No, we're good. Okay. Load a, load a second launcher. You got a launcher? Oh, one's behind yeah, the rock. HVs. Dead. Okay. I'm loading HVs. Okay. Is it, is it not this one here? Nah, like, right there's another one. There's another one further up. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. I don't know the other Did one. You got there. your HV ready? Yeah. What up? No, no, no. They see something and they just wait. Let me go in first. Put in. Good two. I got TC. Wait, wait. Just back up, back up. Because we're going to get rocketed together. Yeah, they sealed that. Okay, I need a new TC. Am I five five in this thing out or what? No, yep, jump jump down. Just jump down. Let's... Hmm. Okay, you got your PvP right? Got a hammer? Ready? Yep. Yep. Ready? So there's a few up there. They're right on it. Tons of mark big hit marker. Up there, up higher, up higher. Give another PvP yep. rocket. Got another one? Yep. Go for it. Nothing. But let me, let me. No, no, jump out of the way. Got another one ready? Nothing. It must be ready? right up high. There's nothing on there. Okay. Nothing on that level. It must have moved up. Is it? That's top level, just PvP rocket. Yeah, yeah. Got one more, got one more. Got a hit marker. Uh, one more. Oh, there's another, another floor, another floor. Do you have another? I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of rockets, out of rockets, out of rockets. Oh, dude, there's another two. Hey, he's four, 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 four. There's two. Maybe just go down a couple levels. Wait for me to come back. Someone's at the bottom. Got a key lock. Yeah, key. Cool. Do you have anything to lock that? TC with? I'm dead, I'm dead. He pushed him from behind. He joined me. They might just run now with M2. Now, although we did fail at the final hurdle here at taking out the last few on the raid base, we still depoted all of those rockets from outside and stopped their insane offline attempt. This was a victory in my book, well and truly. I feel like we proved a determined enough small group can accomplish almost anything. The only thing is, in a war of attrition, we would lose, clearly. And we knew they would come back night after night until they raided us completely offline. So we decided to give the loot away to other people on the server, giving all their kits and rockets to anyone that wanted them. Yo, right, um, what's up? Uh, have fun with the loot. You guys use those rockets. Offline ST if you can. They live uh, at X21, X22. How deep are you? Oh, those guys. With duo, just Gaz and I this way. Smokey logged on for like five minutes and then got off. Yeah, well, whatever they fucking duo. What did you play? Late wipe or wipe day? Wipe day, we've been playing from wipe day. Now, although this was a great ending to our story, that wasn't quite it. These guys getting the leftover loot from our skeleton of a base was great. 
but one of the ST guys came over for a chat and gave their perspective on things between us, which was quite interesting. <laughs> Why did you offline me? Or try to? Uh, so, so, sorry. We, we... Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. It's not posted live but it's from the others come. Chat, chat. Look, chat. Ah, uh, you thought we cheat? Okay. Did you think we cheat? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, okay, um, okay. Script. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so, so strong. Oh my god. Lot of. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you ever just feel like logging off? Everyday farm. Everyday farm? <laughs> everyday right, farm. Well, all right. day, every day. All in all, I was pretty happy with how things ended. <laughs> it was a great story and a really fun wipe. Hopefully I'll see you guys next time. See ya boys.